Today's technique that I'm going to show is called isometric drawing, and it's a very common engineering drawing technique for getting ideas out and being able to see things. The important thing about an isometric drawing is that it allows you to see three sides of an object at the same time. Let's take a look at what I'm talking about. Here's a simple wooden cube. You can see if I hold it like this that we can see just one side of that object at, at this point. If I turn it, we can see just one side of the object and so on. But what we want to be able to do is see three sides of the object at the same time. I'm going to label this side F for front. I'm going to turn it and I'm going to label this side R for right side. And I'm going to label this side of the object T for top. So we can see from the isometric perspective that I can see three sides of this object at the same time. Our goal is that we're going to learn how to do an isometric drawing so that you can represent objects showing them in 3D on a 2D piece of paper. One tool we can use to help us get more familiar with the isometric drawing process is the isometric drawing tool. With this, we can place 3D objects like cubes onto an isometric grid, just like so. Or we can also use tools like the line tool to do individual lines like what we're going to do once we start using pencil and paper. So if I want to use the isometric drawing tool to make a drawing of this cube representing its 3D shape in a 2D surface, what I'm going to do is use my line tool to draw some lines that represent the different sides or faces of the object. I usually like to start with the front face of the object, which is this one right here. So what I'm going to do is draw the lines that represent this face here, starting with this bottom front corner. So I'll draw a line that goes from that bottom corner across. That gets me to this point in the object. So I'll draw this line here that goes straight up. Now I need to draw the line that goes across here. So I'll draw that line. And then finally, I'll draw the line that goes down. That's the front face of that cube. Now I'll make the right face of the cube. I'm going to take this line and draw straight back, just like we can see this line right here on the object. I'll draw the line that goes straight up on the back part of this right side here. And now finally, I'll complete the right face. Now to do the top face, I've already got two of the four lines that I need. So I'll draw one that goes across and another that comes back to that last point. So I've just drawn that 3D cube in isometric perspective using the isometric drawing tool. Now I'd like to go from the isometric drawing tool to being able to actually draw this object on paper. So let's switch over and take a look at how I might do that. This is a point where having different drawing paper available to you will mean that you'll need to use slightly different techniques. What I'll do is show the technique using isometric drawing paper first, and then show techniques for using other kinds of drawing paper as well. So just like I did with the isometric drawing tool, I'm going to pick a face of this object to draw, and I'm going to draw the front face of this just like I did with the isometric drawing tool. So I'm going to pick a point on my paper, and I'm going to make a dot there. Now, if I was going to make this using just one line segment for each side of this, my object would look really small. So instead, I'm going to use a scale of two line segments per side of this object. That's going to make my object a little bigger and a little easier to see. So just like I did before, I'm going to draw a line that goes straight up on this object. I'm going to go up one, two, and make another dot right there. That gets me from here to here on the object, and now I need to draw the line that goes across. So I'm going to measure over, and this is where isometric drawing paper is very different from regular graph paper, and this is where it can be a little confusing for people. The guidelines in isometric paper always have vertical lines that go straight up and down, and then they have guidelines that go across at a 30 degree angle to give us our isometric perspective. So I'm not going to take a line straight across here. Instead, I'm going to follow this guideline over one, two segments. And it's at an angle from that first dot, but that's okay. I'm going to make this dot a little bit bigger just to be able to see this a little easier. That gets me to this corner of the object, and now I need to draw my line that goes from here down. So I'm going to draw a line that goes from here down. I'm going to count down one, two line segments. And now this is just a matter of connecting the dots. When you're first getting started with isometric drawing, it's okay to just draw this freehand and connect those dots freehand like this. As you get better at isometric drawing, though, you'll want to practice using a ruler or any other object that has straight lines to help you draw those lines so that they're nice, crisp, and straight. So I've just drawn the front face of my object. I'll label this with an F so we can see that's the front face. 
Now, like I did on the isometric drawing tool, I'm going to draw the right face of this object. So I'll start at the bottom corner again and take this line across. So I'll go here and I'll go over one, two segments and make a dot. That gets me to this part of the object. And now I'm going to take that line that goes up. I'm going to go up one, two, and then we've already got that other line over there. So again, I'm just going to connect those dots. And now I've got the right face of my object. Finally, I want to draw the top face of my object. And just like we saw in the isometric drawing tool, I've already got two of these lines here. So I just need to draw this line and this line. And I'll label this T for top. That's how we do a basic isometric drawing of a cube using isometric drawing paper or isometric graph paper.